Hi guys, Jared, aka The Rugby Guy here, and I'm joined by my very best friend. We're not really best friends. Zach Maz, how are you? Very well yourself, mate? Yes, very good, thanks. Thanks for having me today. No, no problem at all. Um, so, I don't know if you've seen it, you must have seen, I tagged you in it. We've put an Instagram post out asking some of the fans to ask you some questions. Yep. And I've put together some of the best and the worst. And these, well, this is it. Instagram question time with Zach Mercer. Zach Mercer. So the last time we spoke properly, you were just trying to break into the bar starting 15, and now you're one of the first names on the team sheet. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, no, it's a real good club to be part of. Obviously just re-signed another two years, so I'm obviously happy there at the moment. So yeah, no, it's good times at the club at the moment. You're one of the most consistent players in the Premiership. You never... Sorry. <laughs> Right, can you please move, sir? Get out of here. <laughs> should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Pathetic. It's a gro that's a grown man. <laughs> so you're one of the most consistent players in the Premiership. You never seem to have a bad game. Do you feel there's still more to come from you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm only young, still learning. How old are you? 21. 21? Yeah, um, so I've still got plenty of time uh, to learn. Uh, from the players at the club as well, especially uh, yeah. with the back row we've got. So no, there's definitely a lot of development. No one's a perfect player. You can ask British nice lines and uh, 100 cap international players that no one's complete just yet. Is that the goal to get to that level? Oh, obviously, that's everyone's dream. For me, it's just playing well for Bath and trying to get back to that England setup uh, at the moment. Obviously, I got capped in November, but uh, obviously, want more than a couple of caps definitely. Now this has come up quite a bit, uh, you went to high school in Scotland, you represented Scotland at under 16 level, what made you choose England over Scotland? Um, yeah, I just, it's because of where I lived, so I lived in yeah. Scotland and for me I just wanted to play international rugby, whatever the age, and so I was under 16 to play in Scotland, my dad was actually the head coach at the time, so that's the only reason I got in. <laughs> um, but no, I, I always wanted to play for England, uh, I always wanted to put the Red Rose on and um, run out of Twickenham, uh, but I just use Scotland, uh, unfortunately, as a, as, as, for them as a stepping stone just to get me there. And, but I've got to give credit to them, they, they certainly got me to where I am today, definitely. And you made your first cap in the autumn against South Africa, yeah. and then your first start against Japan. How was that representing your country for the first time? Very proud moment for you and, and your family? Yeah, that's the first, I think it's the second time I've been to Twickenham. Um, yeah. uh, it's the first time I've played on Twickenham. Um, so yeah, it was obviously a proud moment. My family drove down from Scotland and it, yeah, it was certainly one to remember. So um, that's definitely in, in, hidden in the back of my memory. Uh, yeah. Remember that old first my life. And fast forward three or four months um, to the Six Nations. Yeah. Unfortunately, you didn't make the squad. Yeah. Were you disappointed? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I had to bring it up. I told you there's going to be some serious questions. Were you disappointed? Obviously, you were disappointed. Um, but did you understand where? Did you have a chat to Eddie? And did you understand where he was coming from? Yeah. Unfortunately, I got injured. Uh, a pretty crucial part. Um, I was out for a while. But yeah, for me, I obviously was disappointed not to be in that squad. But he gave me work on, told me what I need to work on. So for me, it's just playing off of half. And um, if I keep doing that, then I'm hoping that the England court will come at some point. And all I can do, like I said, is he's, he's, he's put performance in, in the uh, Bath jersey. Work hard, yeah. Did you watch the Six Nations, first of all? And what were your thoughts on the two? If you did, what were your thoughts on the Six Nations as a whole? Yeah, I think obviously England started off real real well. Yeah. Um, then they came up against the Welsh team that just nullified them in the second half. And England probably didn't come up with any answers. And that, that last game, England Scotland was pretty mental. Um, I was actually in Scotland at the time watching it, and I just couldn't believe what was happening. To no. be honest, but uh, luckily we got the draw because it would have been a, a pretty dark place if we if we managed to lose that one. But yeah. Wales deserved winners in that tournament. Yeah, um, the right outcome. Do you think? Yeah, no, definitely. But where England will learn from it, and uh, it's exciting times for the World Cup, definitely. Then it'll come. Right, enough of the England chat. Let's move on to mm -hmm. slightly. <laughs> Go on, England. <laughs> Who's a better player, you or your dad? Now this is from at Clara. Hmm. You, you know, <laughs> well, it's three M's. It's at Clara. Hmm. Do you, mm, you don't. don't know you don't know. No. Not related. I don't think so. At all. <laughs> That's not your sister, is it? I don't think so. Is it not? <laughs> That's embarrassing because I really thought it. That is your sister. No comment. Who's a better player, you or your dad? Um. Me. Saying that you're in your prime now and then your dad in his prime. Obviously my dad was pretty old so I can't really remember him prior. Yeah. So just um, just to let people know, your dad played rugby league yeah. for New Zealand. 
and he was a bit of a legend. I've done a lot of research and he's, he was a bit of a legend, more so than you probably. He called himself a leg end. Leg end, <laughs> right. So who would you say was better in there? I think this he's... is from your sister once again. She's not my sister. She's not your sister? Yeah. I was going to say, because the next question is also from her. And she Wait, said, she's the only you... one that's asked questions. Yeah, and, she, and, <laughs> and she said, would it be okay to give my number to Jared? <laughs> No, that that's was it. <laughs> and your wife's going to watch this. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm so sorry. I'm so... <laughs> um, you know, I think my dad is probably... My dad openly admits that he wasn't a skillful player. He was had to work hard for where he was, and he was a pretty dirty guy. He used to wear a four-hour guard just to go around smashing yeah. people. So I think in different aspects of the game, he was more physical than me, but I've got, I'd say, my skill set's much skill better than his. Better. Yeah. Yeah. What is your... I know you've got a girlfriend, but yeah. this is from Tom Dren. Yeah. What's your best pickup line? I quite like the grab your coat you've pulled. It's simple. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty simple. What well, about you from Jamaica? Because you're making you're me crazy. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Okay, next one. How do you have such. Okay, this is from Oldfield RFC. That's the team I coach, yeah. Yeah. How do you have such good ball skills when you have such massive guns? <laughs> wow. That's definitely a dick. Unbelievable. Um, how do I have? How do you have such good ball skills because, when you have uh, such massive guns? So I don't. Obviously, you can see probably on camera that my guns are tiny. Yours are probably bigger than mine. Skills. Um, so I, the re, the excuse I go is that I don't use go to the gym because I feel like if I get too big and I, I'll be too stiff, I won't be able to yeah, pass yeah. the rugby You're ball. a skillful player. You're light on your yeah. feet, and so I know a lot of lads at, at Bath rugby that probably gym too much and the skills. Yeah. 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 Like, no, walk, no, walk around no. like this, try and chip the ball. Yeah. I'm not going to name anyone. No. Anthony Watson is just sat <laughs> right over there. <laughs> yeah. No, you're on the naughty step, sir. No, I'm forgetting involved. Probably I'll have to have a word with uh, yeah. the players tonight after that question. So this last question is from at the Ugby Eye. What are your thoughts on the rugby guy and are you really that's best friends? You. Is it? <laughs> the rugby guy. The uh, rugby guy. I mean, that's, it's, it's meant to be that. What are your thoughts um, on the rugby guy and are you really best friends? I don't, I've never met the rugby guy. Oh, you haven't? Uh, yeah, because obviously he's an alter ego. No one really knows who he is. No, no, no. Uh, but we've had some good discussions and yeah. he's a nice guy. And so we get you would on say well. that... Yeah, we're, we're mates, I would say. Best I wouldn't say we're best friends. We don't know each other that well. Long. But um, oh, certainly if he's in, in the Bath area, you can come around for a dinner and have a coffee and that. That's nice. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for your time. Yeah. And thank you to all of you for your questions. Can you have a jingle or not? Yeah. Can I have your jingle, please? Zach, Zach. <laughs> he's got a giant hat. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was going another way. Brilliant. Well, good luck for the rest of the season, mate. <laughs> You've got to do one. <laughs> I was going to go, Zach, Zach, he's got a giant ball. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Well, thank you for your question. Well, I was on live. Uh, yes, uh, we're still live. Uh, well, it's not, not live. live. Facebook Live. Thank you for your questions. Thank you for your time. Thanks Good for luck for the rest of the season, and hopefully we'll see you back Cheers, in an England shirt very soon. Cheers, bud. Cheers, bud. Zach, Zach. He's got a giant hat. <laughs> <laughs>